And welcome back to another episode of Fix It With Sherman. I am Sherman. Welcome to our den. It has no furniture in it. We moved in here a few years ago. We never bought furniture because we figured we'd never sit in here, which we haven't. It's just been a makeshift area for at-home learning. But it does have this. This death trap of a rug. Do you have one that does that? Wants to kill you frequently? See how that slides around? Maybe you have wood floors, you have a rug that's kind of like that. Whether or not it's this big or small, if you want that rug to stop doing that, I have an easy way to fix that. First, we roll it up, and we take it out to the trash. Fixed. <gasps> I'm not taking it out to the trash. We're going to the fix-it area, the garage. We have a co-host today on Fix It with Sherman. It's a honeybee that's crawling around in the area where I'm gonna fix the rug. See, I don't wanna kill the honeybees. You need the honeybees. Wasps can kiss my butt. I hate wasps. So we're gonna let this little dude crawl. Come on, buddy. We already fixed something. We saved the honeybee. All right, now that we saved wildlife, what we're gonna do here to fix this rug, first off, flip it over to the side that's the problem. That way we can dirty the right side very well on the garage floor. All right, we're close. Ready? Bang! What we got here, maybe you have this in the garage already, some silicone. Maybe you try to use this around some windows. This is gonna save us today. So what we're gonna do is put a bead all the way around and then put an X in the center. Watch. Here we go. Let's put a bead down. And you're gonna fix this. If it looks a little goofy right now, don't worry. You're gonna see why. You're gonna put a nice bead. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so now we're almost out because this one was half full. Now we're gonna make our X. This is key. So what we're basically doing here is we're creating something that's going to not make this whole rug move on the floor. So silicone does that. It's kind of like a rubber surface. So obviously you're not gonna want these big lumps like that. So they make these little things. Maybe you car guys already know what this is. Use it for Bondo outside of your car. You don't have to use this. Just use something flat because all you're gonna do is flatten this out now, just like so. Like that. See how it flattens it all out? But that surface is still gonna be there. Even though it's all flattened out, it's still gonna catch on the floor and make it rub rise. So you just go around and do that to the whole thing. Just flatten it all out. Now we're just waiting for this to dry. You can see that it's all smoothed out right now. So we have the rug back in the den. As you can see, there's our silicone that we put on there. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer depending on how much you put on there. You might even have to wait up to about 24 hours to let it completely dry, but it's way more tacky than nothing on there at all. So you put it down. Remember how it moved around before? Not moving now. So, you no longer have to swear at that rug. It won't kill you. And go save some bees. <laughs> 